What the f man? If you've been playing Halo Infinite on PC and experiencing these crashes in Steam like I have, I know just how frustrating it can be as 343 hasn't responded to these issues and the support page is a horrible experience in my opinion. Hopefully today's video helps you figure out what you can do to fix it and I'll be starting with the basics here before finishing with the solution that helped me personally which no one has been talking about. Now the first thing you'll want to do is to check and make sure all of your drivers are up to date. The GPU is the easiest and most common one people will check, but you want to check your CPU drivers as well, especially if you're using AMD. And then beyond that, you can actually check your SSD drivers just in case also. After that, you'll want to verify the integrity of the game. In order to do that, you'll go over to the game, right click it, go down to the properties, click on local files, and then click verify game. This shouldn't take long, and if there are any issues with the files, it will correct those. Next, while you're in this tab, you can turn off game overlays, which has apparently been causing some issues as well. With this though, there is a caveat as disabling this will make it so you can't purchase any credits for the game. The overlay pops up when you go to purchase in-game credits, and if you can't pop that up, then you can't actually buy the credits. If this solution is one that helps you and you still want to buy credits, I would turn it on to buy the credits and then back off after you're done. When you do turn this off though, you'll notice that you can't enable it when going back through the game property tab. You simply can't just click on it. It just won't let you do that. So in order to turn it back on, you'll need to go into your Steam settings and enable it there. In order to do this, go to the view tab. Click on settings at the bottom and then under the in-game tab, you will find the overlay option. Click that and then go back to the Halo Infinite game properties and you can now enable game overlay. Keep in mind other game overlays like Discord might actually affect this also, so you might try closing that to see if it helps. After that, disabling the high-res texture pack is another potential solution, and having turned it off or on, I personally don't notice a huge difference, so it wasn't something that I missed when it was actually disabled. In order to find this, you are going to again go into the game properties and then go to the DLC tab. At the bottom of that, you will find the high-res texture pack. Click it so that it now is not checked, because if it's checked, it is downloaded, and that's all you have to do. You don't have to hit OK or anything like that. And the last solution here is the one that worked for me, and it was turning off the Razer Synapse software. I have the Halo Razer Infinite peripherals on my second rig, but use the software on my main rig for testing the products. The custom lighting this offers seems to be causing an issue as I'm having to use my Logitech peripherals and not Razer, which has its own lighting effects. Closing the app down has resolved my issue and I've noticed both Halo Infinite and the Master Chief Collection don't like certain lighting apps running in the background for some reason. The Master Chief Collection would either crash or say I was cheating when my MSI Mystic lighting software was running, so that might be something else to check if you have that. I deleted that from my PC to resolve the issue, but I have a feeling other lighting and PC peripheral apps that affect lighting might be causing lots of people's games to crash. So hopefully that helps you try to figure out how to fix your game crashes until 343 starts fixing some of these issues with patches. If there are any other solutions that helped you, by the way, please comment what that was below and I'll pin a comment that will be a collection of other things that have helped people so I can create a good go-to thread for options here. I'll make another video down the road if I have enough solutions to cover also. Quick side note though, if you're going to test out if any of these solutions actually work for you, I do recommend playing against bots. That way you're not gonna leave any team hanging if it does crash and you start up a game because then the game is actually scrambling to try and find another player to take your slot and it just affects the game. So I think playing bots is just the safer bet for people to try out any of these solutions instead of hopping into a regular game. Thanks so much for watching. I do hope this helped you any way with the crashes that you may be experiencing in Halo Infinite. As I mentioned, I know it can be frustrating. So hopefully this has helped you somewhat or at least given you kind of a starting point for potential solutions. So that's gonna be it for this one. I'll see you guys in the next video.